The $14 trillion debt represents a great loss. We have lost jobs. We have lost money. And we know they have gone offshore. And we know who is responsible for this. The wealthy are compulsive, obsessive hoarders. And so we can't give them any more money if we want to see it again. Money has to circulate by a new process. We need new values. The future is has been made responsible for $14 trillion debt. And yet, the future doesn't exist. So by the most basic mathematical formula, if the responsible party doesn't exist, then the deficit doesn't exist. But because that $14 trillion has been attached by derivatives to, to the future, the actual value of that $14 trillion is to save the future. If $14 trillion is recirculated into our economy, we can save our country. That's the only if. And how do we do that? There are no jobs. There is no money to lend. And so we create three branches of economy in order to overthrow the monarch money and the way monetization has become the only process. Monetization worked for products. Profit works for products. It does not work for information and service because when information and service are sold for profit, information and service are withheld for profit. And so we need to start that process again. And we start with information. Invested interest yields appreciation. And so we appreciate everyone who wants to learn something, every class, has a value that should be paid forward, that students should come out of college with money to spend. Everything they learn is research and development, and that is justified by corporations as an as a important expense and an important value that they charge us for. Well, where you have to charge those actually responsible for the $14 trillion, which is our country, with a new form of government based on what we know. And who knows the most? Who studies the most? And will therefore earn the most money by this system? The doctors. We give the medical community money to practice, that since their value is based on their practice, they then pay their patients. Their patients are their practice, where their values are extended, invested interest yields appreciation. And so people should be paid to learn and people should be paid to be healthy. This will therefore solve the health care problem and the education problem. And those symptoms have been obvious since I was first aware of how teachers and nurses were the most exploited occupations because they didn't create product. They were a service. And so they were minimalized in the value department. And now they must be appreciated 
for how long they've waited, for how patient they've been. And so, with the redistribution of $14 trillion through education and health, we can convince the production side of our economy to bring production back to America because we can afford their higher prices for American-made labor with this influx of $14 trillion. Plus, they should be inspired by the opportunity to re-steal that $14 trillion again if it is re-derived into something they can access through appropriate education and healthy means. And so the result will not be a welfare state, but a well and fair state. And nothing could be more important to a citizen than a republic based on public health and public knowledge. And so that seems to be the best I can see with the education and health care I have received in this wonderful life from this wonderful country that seems to be reaching the wrong conclusions.